Now to tough talk and heightened tensions between the U.S. and Iran. A top Iranian military commander now says his country has ballistic missile capabilities of taking out an aircraft carrier, even as Iran's president says it is not seeking to wage war against any nation. Now, the U.S. Secretary of State also reiterating in the last few hours that Donald Trump does not want war with Iran. Tensions flared last week after the U.S. blamed Iran for an attack against two tankers in the Gulf of Oman. Now we're hearing strong words from a senior Iranian admiral. If we would be afraid of their military equipment, we would not be here anymore. All the greatness they ascribe to themselves is worth nothing to us, because a nation that believes in martyrdom cannot be enslaved. We don't want war with anyone, but this is our region and others should not be in it. This region's natural resources and all its benefits are ours. What are others doing in this region? The U.S. Navy now says a mine allegedly used in that attack last week on a tanker in the Gulf of Oman bears a striking resemblance to mines displayed at Iranian military parades. That word came as CNN got a close-up look at the damage to that tanker. Our Sam Kiley is on the water. An American naval craft fast approaches a Japanese ship allegedly attacked with an Iranian mine. Gunboat diplomacy. The U.S. taking the media to see the damage done to the Kukuka Courageous. This hole just over my shoulder, the Americans say, was caused with an Iranian-built limpet mine. They can't say, however, with any total certainty that it was put there by the Iranians. Nonetheless, it blew through both the outer hull and the inner hull of this ship, penetrating the fuel tank area. Some experts have said that that is deliberate. It was a sign that whoever planted this mine knew what they were doing, that they wanted to send a signal but not cause a disaster. The signal is hands off Iran. The disaster would be all out war. US naval experts strongly believe that the mine here and the one removed by Iranian commandos from this same ship were Iranian. The US Navy recovered a magnet from one limpet mine and fragments of another, which has led them to this. What I can tell you is that the limpet mine that was used in the attack is distinguishable. And it is also strikingly bearing a resemblance to Iranian mines that have already been publicly displayed in Iranian military parades. Since the US withdrew from the deal intended to reduce sanctions against Iran in return for it suspending its nuclear program and imposed even heavier sanctions, tensions have steadily increased, especially at sea. The US sent a carrier group to the region to signal power and discourage Iranian retaliation. In May, though, four ships were mysteriously damaged in Emirati waters by explosions. The Kukuka Courageous and the Front Altair, a Norwegian-owned tanker, were both attacked last week. There have been more mysterious attacks on land, most recently in Basra. There, a building housing foreign oil companies, including ExxonMobil, were hit by a rocket. The US has blamed similar attacks on Iran, but Iran denies all allegations of using violence to signal anger over the US sanctions. It does, though, back many militias capable of launching such assaults. The commander of its Revolutionary Guard Corps has warned that Iran has missiles that could destroy an aircraft carrier. The US Secretary of State insisting that the U.S. can't pursue diplomacy. We can't do that without making sure that we have the capability to respond if Iran makes a bad decision, if it makes a decision to go after an American or an American interest or to uh, continue to proliferate its nuclear weapons program. So far, Iran has done neither. But it does want U.S. sanctions lifted. America is saying no, leaving the gunboats to circle amid spiraling tensions. Sam Kiley, CNN, for JRA the Emirates.